maps to begin with. I'm going to let these guys know that we're ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm very ready right now. My body is ready. And this is it, guys. Aero walk is beginning right now between De Hang and Cypher. Group A of the QuickCon 2014 two, Dual Masters. One. I am going to be starting on... I'm going to go over to Cypher because his Aero walk game is arguably the best in the world. Uh, I want to see how he's going to surgically approach the start of this. Wow, well, he is not missing a beat here. Oh, just you jinxed it for a second, but he's right back at him. Vertical rail to pick up the first kill. Bouncing around of the rockets to hang, not able to get away from this. Two kills in the first 20 seconds. Uh, Cypher's keeping the pressure on high, and he's, he's executing. He missed only one rail, but it was the least important rail to connect. He, he's doing really well here. He's going to be setting up for this Mega. The Hang, what does he have to work That's with? Oh, wow. Move. Some great damage. Picks up the yellow. Mega coming up, and he just... That there was so perfect. I mean, the Hang hitting the shots as well. He, he can sh He's showing us that he can play as fast as Cypher. Yeah, I think Cypher may have actually got just a little bit too comfortable too quickly with those early frags, and that hangs straight back in this before he could blink. Uh, pretty remarkable stuff. Find Cypher at the top, pretty precarious position from the Belarusian. The hang is, uh, well, he's attacking those items just as much as Cypher. It's great that he's going to start earning some respect with shots like that onto Cypher because Cypher, with that aggressive opening, I mean, that's not the safe way to play this. He could have had, you know, much more stack before he then wanted to take a frag. Make sure he gets that mega fight going for himself and, and make sure that it goes his way. But he wants to play a really intense match against Da Hang. And oh, oh what a shot, Da Hang. He's showing he has got the goods as well. He was just quick enough getting off the red arm. Oh, he played that amazingly over there. 4 2 at the moment. I think Cypher is starting to feel the pressure a little bit. Two rails at the moment. Can he find one more? Switches over to the rockets. But he should be able to find Cypher on the side here. I don't know if he's going to get away. He won't, is the answer. So 5-2, to two, and you're saying you know, Cypher considered largely one of the best aerial players in the world. That is largely because of his out-of-control abilities. Yes. And so we're going to see that. We're already seeing that. The rockets connected there. The hang tries to get aggressive. The rockets are doing heavy, heavy damage, really making it, making the hang think twice before he has to go aggressive. Yeah, but the hang persevered. He's like, that's all right. I don't mind taking this damage. Just going to try and get a relatively clean mega and make sure that red is all secured. But it's not, it's not been the dream he hoped for. Cypher is doing ridiculous damage at the moment. He is going to have to play out of his mind if he wants to keep Cypher at bay. And he's, his awareness levels have just got to be through the roof at the moment because Cypher is trying to attack from every angle possible. Whilst simultaneously taking as little damage as possible. Very nice rail there from Cypher. Now the hang is on basically starting stack. It's a great jump rail, but he's really exposing himself to a lot of damage here. This pressure could cost the hang, and it does. He goes down, and that is Cypher now looking quite good coming back into this. He should be okay on the health with these bubbles up for him. And a short whiff there from the hang, and things get better and better for Cypher. Well, he's coming back a little bit closer, starting to build on that health and armor a little bit. See if uh, any more frags around the corner, and if the hang can maybe try and parallel Cypher with the same kind of defensive moves. Oh, he's just going to jump straight onto the red, taking lots of risks. Cypher misses that rail. That should definitely have hit then. He's not going to be super happy with that. Might be some uh, aim adjustments. And the hang just running straight into him. Hasn't done a single bit of damage. LG tickles Cypher a little bit. But uh, the Belarusian currently looking good to tie the game up. Here we go. Cypher pushing up the stairs. Going to claim the tie game frag. And a red with that as well. So Mega's coming up. That's got to be the priority for Cypher. Keep the stack and to hang with great prediction rockets here, completely shutting Cypher out from any position. And now to hang has just one mega health with that play, and that's going to allow him as well to get a bit aggressive now. And Cypher, he's got to be careful, but no, to hang just charges, man. He just charges straight at Cypher and. Perfect move from him. There was just a bit of an awareness failure from Cypher earlier. He took a little bit too much damage, expecting to hang going through the teleporter, and he didn't do it. So hang playing immensely at the moment. Can he get himself another kill? Yellow's not up for a little bit of time. The hang hurting a lot right now. Oh the God. rockets are so close, but the rail is beautiful. Now it's it's he's taking so much damage there. I don't know if he should have taken that much damage. He really wanted to just get that frag, overextending all the way straight to that yellow and his stack, you can see how much pressure he's been put under, but he's slowly actually recovering here. After all those risks, after this crazy direct, the hang is recovering, and he's got a good stack going again, and he's ready to pile on the aggression 
once more. Red is coming up, but Dahang, he smells a frag. He needs to hit these rails though if he wants to, to get that kill. Uh, Red's up in a second, Cypher position closer towards it and his rockets are just kicking Dahang's ass at the moment. And Dahang might just have to forfeit control if, uh, if Cypher, yeah, if Cypher's gonna go back for it, easy for him to collect it. But maybe Dahang's gonna be able to get on the Mega Half a second until it's up. Cypher misses his rockets, Dahang getting away with this at the moment. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, oh, strong damage from both players. Whoa. What a rail flick as well. This is just pretty high level Z right this, now. This is very high level stuff at the moment. And he's just going to move in. Cypher misses the rail shot, and Dahang's going to be delighted with that. He just picked up basically all the health resources close to him. And now he can try and get some momentum, but all of a sudden, shut down. Cypher lands a couple, a rocket and a rail. And Dahang's maybe at step one. And great connection there through the teleporter from Cypher and it's going to be about just weathering the storm right now because Dahang knows that Cypher's pretty weak. He's going to pick up the Mega so that makes him a bit stronger but Dahang is going to be confident to try to open up these angles, go for these shots to keep knocking Cypher's stack down and there he is trying to come in again. Cypher going to repel him or does he? He actually has to rocket jump out of there to get to on, onto that red armor but Cypher He's slowly building towards this, trying to cut off those angles, approaching on high. This is really good movement here around the map from Cypher. Mega's coming up in 10. That's going to be what they're thinking about here. And oh! What? This da that damage from the hang was crazy. I can't believe that was a mutual frag from that. Very well played from the American. The uh, hang's just going to let that Mega slip into the hands of Cypher, and he's going to try and get that red for free. So far, great success. The Hang showing a really strong game so far, matching the execution of Cypher and going in for the kill right now. So far, it's been the rockets of Cypher that have stopped the Hang. So far, the Hang unable to respond Six accurately health. there, but oh my god, Cypher still. This is why he's so good out of control. The rockets are just ridiculous. I, I think there's a little bit of an execution failure on the Hang's behalf. He should certainly have been doing a little bit more damage. The fight at the yellow was very good for him, but the follow-up was completely absent. And Cypher might be about to tie the game up. The Hang looking to get uh, some good rocket damage, but it just it simply isn't there at the moment. Yeah, that, that was a big, big miss opportunity there. The Hang needed to hit one more rocket. With that rail, he needs to hit something there. This could be very bad for Cypher. I mean, he can't easily push up these stairs without taking quite a lot of damage, removing all of his armor. But he, oh, great bait there. Great bait. The Hang wanted to, to just open up the angle there, get that LG damage, but Cypher pulled back out of the range of the LG and pulled out the rail and connected the shot. Very important because that was a big moment for the Hang to just get rid of all of Cypher's armor. What's going to happen at this Mega Health? Dahang taking up a position. Does he want the yellow? He does, but he's not being allowed it. Cypher knows that he's going to be up. But this could be a small turnaround over here. We've got a direct rocket from Cypher. Dahang keeps on landing rails. One more for the kill, but Cypher is going to swipe that one away. 13 to 10. Yeah, and Cypher's control not secure. He is hitting some remarkable rails so far, and he's got such a good level of awareness of the map. And I think it still feels like the Rockets are the, the, uh, are the difference here between these two players. It's, it is quite sickening how good Cypher is on LAN. It's such a big difference. Yeah. He's good enough as it is, but on LAN it gets a bit disgusting, and there is some disgusting LG to go along with those for those rockets and defending the Mega. Oh, he didn't oh, make no it! No way! There was just a fraction of a second until uh, the Mega was going to spawn and Cypher could not weather the storm. Now to hang four frags to get in a minute and a half. This is very doable for him. And if Cypher doesn't hit those rockets, then he has a good chance. 12 to 15. He has a perfect rotation on these items at the moment. Cypher, you got, are going to have to go god mode. He's got to get this. damage in now because Mega's in 12 seconds. This could be a very good moment for him to get to hang weak so that it makes the hang really second guess himself pushing in for items. Good rail though to hang. That, that should secure this Mega. Oh, oh nice prediction rocket. And 13 to 15, he's two frags away. 60 seconds left now, Z. This is, this is so possible. It's a monster stack for him. Cypher, what the hell are you going to do to get away from this? To hang! Oh, what the? You need to hit your shots if you want to make this real. So here we go. A time is ticking away, but to hang, he feels confident in just taking a little bit of caution, just trying to pick his moment. Oh. Great rail in the back of the escaping Cypher through the teleporter. Surely this is, is the one, and it is, but there's still one more to go. And uh, the red's up, but uh, Cypher not on that side. He's going to have to chase him down. He cannot give Cypher this red, and he's just missed out on it. That is, that, that's a big change in the momentum here in the last 30 seconds. 
the Hank's got to do much more damage than Cypher. And how the hell is he going to find? There's the rail through the teleporter. Have we got any more rockets backwards from Cypher? Ten seconds left. He's got to just, He's just got to pile rush. into him. He's got Come to go. on. He needs that overtime. He has a chance of taking the first map away from Cypher that he picked. Two seconds, one second. Cypher hiding around the corner. Oh. He can't find him. So close. Unbelievable game there. These guys just going at it, just frag for frag. You just can't separate these, these guys. I mean, yeah. that, so that was so he, close. He gave Cypher the red armor and then that just made that last frag just that much harder to get to, to get. And I, th I think that's where uh, the hang lost the game. It's crazy, isn't it? It, it's, it is. I this is a good way to start. Best I think that's, that's a fast paced map right there. We're going to get another fast paced map. We're going to get toxicity between these two. And uh, toxicity has been actually one of the most impressive maps in the, probably the last year of, or so yep. of LAN competitions. Um, it didn't have such a good time, I think, before then, but very close games we've been seeing lately on Toxicity. Definitely, and the Hang, he is just so, so, so solid. Mm. And I wasn't sure about the Hang that we were going to see going into QuakeCon 2014, but so far it looks pretty good. Let's see how well he does against Cypher on Toxicity. Map number two between these guys in group A. And to uh, looks like the Hang's gonna pick up that start for the rail and the red. So, pretty even split for the players. Reminds me exactly of Chance vs. Demon to start actually, but there it is, LG from the Hang looking good. Cypher, d d he doesn't normally miss rockets like that. He got crushed just then. Even typing as well. And uh, the weapon difference, that's really the, the, the painful wow. reality for Cypher right now. He just doesn't have the weapons to fight back. The Hang doesn't want to wait for that yellow any longer. He wants to make sure that that Mega can be his. So Cypher gets a couple of extra resources. Holy crap, the damage he's doing is ridiculous. Can't hit the air rocket. The Hang gets the third frag, but he's lost so much from that encounter. Cypher, can he get away? He hits one rail. He can't hit the next one. The Hang continues expanding this lead. 4 to 0 after a minute. Definitely a good pace for the Hang. But the Cypher has got to be looking to slow this down at the moment. Again, the Hang creeping towards a very scary amount of armor and health. This Mega is spawning imminently. And what is Cypher going to do about it? I don't know if there's going to be any answer for this at this point, at least. It's just going to take. Um more and more and more damage. There's going to be that point where Cypher just does his thing and hits uh, four direct rockets in a row and the Hang won't have a single response. It's not going to be then. And the Hang's got plenty of time to make something happen. Ages until items are up, but he's got to stop taking these rails. A little bit of splash for him. And this is, this is a great cycle we've got from the Hang. He takes this red, he's got to basically rocket jump towards the Mega Health as fast as he can. There it is. Cypher, not able to get on the Mega Health, so... Yeah, be beautiful stuff to hang. Really like that. So here we go, things are slowing down massively. Cypher definitely doing a good job, keeping things in control, despite having no control on the map. It's going quite well for him, taking a nasty rail there. Things could get real very soon, unless his rockets are phenomenal. They're doing quite Whoa. well, but... Oh wow, that's a lot of good damage. He, can, he could follow up with this pretty effectively. Hang out. It was a close shave just then. Cypher moving towards the LG, but the Hang's just ripping him apart. This is this is definitely a not a not so profitable two and a half minutes for Cypher. Yeah. It might continue this way actually. Yeah. Cypher just can't seem to be can't seem to be able to get onto an item at all. Top yellow's up. Cypher makes the move. The rockets will land. Three health left. The Hang's LG was actually phenomenal just then. It's simply not enough. What the hell is Cypher going to do yeah, with this, Yeah, this is what the impossible, hell do? impossible situation. It's almost actually bad for him to stay alive because he he's, he can't do anything. He's just wasting time. It's, it's a very hard reality on Toxicity to be in that position. But you can see that you know Cypher's putting in a lot of good aggressions and it's really coming down to whether or not he can capitalize. We saw great rocket play. He threw two more thrags into it before the big items were spawning. Didn't work. The next follow-up play managed to get something on the board, but quickly again, the Hang is starting to take control Ooh. of things, and he's hitting some insane shots. So the Hang is looking what? at a very sick scoreline. How is he getting so much damage? Cypher not able to respond properly. Looks for the, the drive-by rail. Two health left. He can't hit another one, but he is weakened Cypher significantly through this. And, we, and uh, I actually thought he was going to be very, very weak. He was extremely passive on the items, but just pulled out the shots. Dahang, another rail, 14 health left for Cypher. 
There's two 25s on the side, surely. Yep, Cypher's gonna swing by. Take them. And he's late for mega health. Sitting on there hoping for the best, but no, sir. Cyphers, he's doing a really, really good job here, keeping the damage high, keeping the cost really dear for the hang every time he goes for these frags. So eventually, Cyphers gonna get his opportunity, but the problem for him is that eventually needs to be fairly soon, and uh, yeah. it needs to be an eventually that doesn't have him down like 15 frags. Wow, Cypher took so much damage, he can't survive to take the mega health. Uh, the hang might have to rocket jump here. And now he needs to get over to that red. If Cypher's gonna take it, uh, okay, no, no position over to the railgun. That could be a little bit precarious over here. Sick rail from the hang. He's hitting some awesome shots. He's got, he's got like mental wall hack. He can just see through the walls. He's vis like envisioning all the shots to, uh, that he has to take, and he is connecting them marvelously. His accuracy does not do it justice as well because he's hitting some very important stuff. But he's just firing a lot of shots anyway. He might be missing a lot, but he's he's hitting so much. And this is this is a good spot for Cypher right now. This delay, Mega spawning. This can be the first clean Mega for Cypher if he's there quickly enough. But oh, here goes the Hang. He's very aggressive, and the LG is really, really strong. And his armor is basically capped out. Cypher didn't get enough from uh, all of that. The Hang it keeps going, getting 200 armor. Finally, the rocket making a small difference. You can see how Cypher keeps his position just in front of the hang a little bit, so he can keep doing like chip damage with the rockets, but... What? what? He took the red, rocket jumped up into the, the loving embrace of the hang. He's there to give him a nice hug, but 9-1 to one now the score. So Cypher, what is this? He's laughing, he says, ah, stop it. He's, <laughs> he's not impressed with the hang's performance at the moment. I've got to say, I am. I really am. It's looking pretty damn good for the hang right now. Nothing is going Cypher's way. Like he's making a lot of great movement, a lot of great plays, but the hang just clutches the shots. He just hits the damage, and the the cycles of the items don't work out uh, in favor for Cypher. Sometimes when he invests all the damage, the follow-ups aren't there, and so I don't know. So the hang is just outplaying him right now. Yeah, he, he's just got to ignore whatever's going on. He might have a small smile on his face because he knows he's getting to Cypher at the moment. Uh, his GG is out. The hang is going to bring it to a tiebreaker. Crushing victory there on Toxicity. Yeah. The Cypher just, he didn't know what to do. Yep. He's like, I've, I've tried everything. My playbook is empty now. And, and the hang just kept flawless controllers. Uh, the items. Okay, three reds, three megas for Cypher. There might have been something he could get at the beginning, but the hang was just amazing with the yellow armors. And that's really what you want to be trying to get when you're out of control. And if you're being denied that and you're not hitting it as well as the guy in control, that's it. That's no, the recipe the for disaster. all the items he, he was able to kind of get because mm. Dahang was elsewhere. Dahang was always just quick enough to get there to catch him as he was just leaving. So yeah. Dahang always kept... He, he never gave anything away for three. There was nothing for free there. And that was a huge issue for Cypher. And we go to map number three here bet between uh, Dahang and Cypher. That's Lost right. World. Here we go. They're starting it right now. <laughs> Who's going to be able to take this game? If Dahang wins this, then he will be the outright number one player from Group A and take the top seed going into the playoffs. Uh, whereas Cypher, I think, could tie things up with him, uh, if that becomes the case. Oh, what Cypher with the rocket! Just as you come out to hang a get down. That was brutal. So they're sending a statement right at the beginning of the match, and a bit of pressure kept on by, by Cypher onto the hang there. And it's good that there hasn't been a frag yet though for, for the hang but he is on the back foot for sure at the moment this is a horrible spot to be in at the start of a lost world when all the items like you don't need to have the item times you know when everything's going to spawn um, right at the start of the game so there's not it's not hard work having map awareness at the beginning so this this should make cyphers work pretty easy and the pressure is going to start coming in very soon from cypher to deny these yellows to just chip away at the hang stack and he could just get caught yeah, he's approaching this yellow very, very carefully. He's expecting the worst. Cypher appears behind him, but he actually does quite well. He can go and get himself the red now. He doesn't do it. Kind of go pretty passive, and I think Cypher expected him to uh, go to the red a lot sooner than he did. And now there's a problem for Dahang, actually, uh, that he has no rockets. He just shot his last rocket. That means that he can't rocket jump away anywhere, and that's an incredibly important tool on this map. But he's able with the plasma to steal away that mega. Very cheeky, but... Very ballsy move. There's the rockets. I, I think that the hang is looking 
amazing at the moment. Cypher, if you commit to this, you're going to lose the fight. We've got a couple of plasma balls flying from uh, the Hang's gun, but Cypher keeps on double, triple backing, and it's not yeah. working. Oh, there it is. He comes back down the bottom. The Hang calls slightly out of position, but he is holding his ground at the moment. Yeah, luckily for him, he had a better stack. Otherwise, Cypher goes in for the kill there. Mm -hmm. And it was quite amazing. You know, Da Hang just pushed him away from the Mega. Then he slowly bullied him away from the Red. Da Hang is really making his presence felt. And it feels there's so much confidence oh, from him. Cypher, you might have bitten off more than you can chew. They're going to be first blood. It's not. I'm actually going to switch over to Cypher and see what he's working with at the moment. Going up against Da Hang, who's managed to fight his way into control. It doesn't look like he's giving it up anytime soon. He is bullying Cypher off of all the big items. It's really cool to see that. Cypher keeps coming Whoa. in. and oh, So dangerous. How did that turn into De Hang's favor over there? Eight health left for Cypher. How the hell does he get out of this? They, they break away? How is that not a kill? I don't even know what to say there, but <laughs> I guess you know both players are going to try to stabilize from this point onwards. And De Hang doesn't even have a solid grip of the map. This is actually some of the moments where you, you can see Cypher really perform well when no one has the map because mm -hmm. he's so good at reading his opponents. He's so good at doing the unexpected. And he's just going to hold on to position here. Great to work with the plasma to get that lead for the LG fight, but his opening damage is not good enough. And this is an awkward situation. De Hang should be able to keep forcing him off of these items now. Can he get this mega? I don't even, I don't know. I'm going to switch back over to De Hang very quickly. He's moving around the corner, but his aim is a little bit high. He does manage to get the mega health. So now I feel like controls a little bit more secure for yeah. him, but how he didn't get that kill at the plasma gun is completely beyond me. Yeah, De Hang, he is... I don't know, he's hes blessed or something. There's, there's some divine what? intervention here. Some divine favor going towards De Hang. He's going to win himself another red armor. He's just getting all the big items. It's crazy how he's able to do this. Yeah, Cypher's giving him a lot of respect at the moment. He doesn't want to get too much up in face, and he's still uh, counting his blessings from that, uh, that plasma moment. So another Mega to spawn, and there's just no chance at all for Cypher to take this. Cypher not even in, in vision range to see when it's, it was picked up. That really tells you a lot about how far behind Cypher is on the stack right now. So this could get... We should see the first frag coming relatively soon, in the next minute or two, I think. I would be surprised if Dahan cannot turn this into a frag now. Cypher's really He's badly gonna off. He's going to be if he doesn't. You know, this is, this is not going to be happy to hang if he misses out on the first frag after all these amazing plays that he's been making. Catches him out of the yellow. There it is. Cypher walks into the trap. And to hang looking fantastic here in the tiebreaker map. As I said, guys, if he wins this, he is top of the group. And that was a great bait. That's that's one of the classic baits there onto that yellow. And it's, uh, you know, Dehang just relying on his fundamentals so far. And they are serving him very well. Cypher not able to find good... Good pressures. Da Hang is always pushing him back. It's it's uh, he's going to be really like kicking himself after that kind of yellow situation before yeah. where he should have got that frag. That was crazy. Bit of sneaky play at the moment. Cipher shows his face just outside. Da Hang cannot punish him this time. Cipher will be able to break away. Not much of a, a double back on this occasion. Five minute warning. So Da Hang is looking in fantastic shape, but it's just it's the confidence at which he executes all of his decisions. That's that's what is really encouraging when you're watching him right now. And you know, Cypher's struggling to find options, but he is keeping the game wide open by just not giving frags away. And that that is actually incredibly difficult to do. And here goes oh. Da Hang. Cypher, you're not gonna be able to survive this. Da Hang's LG is just uh, absolutely uh, immense. He's just on. He's yeah. just super on Honestly, right now. I feel like the hang every year. He's getting better and better, and his confidence just increasing, increasing. Finds another kill. Cypher gonna hit the floor into the negatives right now. The hang is on it. He can't get too comfortable though. You can never get too comfortable against Cypher. But this has got to be a bit of revenge as well for for those grand finals that Cypher stole away from him. Yeah. Uh, the hang definitely. He doesn't want to let that happen again, and this is a good way to start the tournament. But. We had this from him last time as well. Great group play, but if he didn't peek into the finals. Cypher making the aggressive play. No more armor left for Dahang, and he actually wants to break away from it this time. So maybe we're starting to see Cypher get into some form of control. Let's go over to him. Not much more armor, only 30. And actually Dahang will have access to the other yellow. So they, they are going to be very, very even at the next major item. Oh, this is so, so scary. No LG oh, ammo. Cypher, he messes it up completely. That's all, all Dahang's for the taking. 
I feel for Cypher right there. He needed that rocket so badly, but it was so risky. He didn't have a solid read, and wow. Dehaim goes in again, and Cypher caught. He wanted to get that Mega. It's just it's not working out for him. Dehaim is just always in the right place. Oh, Rocket's hit. Oh, Cypher managed to hit the shot. Dehaim misses the Midi. And he's trying to be a little bit careful at the moment. He, this, this is now when the game can start slipping away. Let's check really out Cypher. Let's, let's, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, he's weak, he's really weak. I felt that Cypher was getting into control, but I, I was completely wrong. Da hang, he holds on to it. Yeah, this is so awkward right now for Cypher. I felt like he had like 50 more armor than he does as well. Maybe Da Hang thinks that, I'm not sure. But he's here at the Mega. Probably, there's there's no items really up for him. Is Da Hang gonna give this one away? Looks like he can get this one. Ooh, the plasma is kind of scary. He goes out for the LG engagement. Whoa. Interesting stuff here. They're keeping that pressure on. Oh, he just walks into the rocket. That's a dead end for you, Cypher. He's trying to make some gutsy challenges at the moment. But Do you it's think the hang is in Cypher's head right now? At all? I think a little bit right now. He, he's just... He's just... Oh, he's completely on top of all of it. Uh, the, the thing is, though, the hang's going to look back in the groups. He's like, right, I played amazingly during the group stage. And if he goes on winning in the next two minutes, he's like, I beat everybody in group A. But when it counts is if he meets any of these players in the semi-finals. Yep. I mean, that, that's really when it's going to matter the most and where it's completely useless winning the group stage if you cannot have this repeat performance going towards the semi-finals where you could re-encounter them. But finally, we see Dehang very weak. Yeah. Cypher has to make the frag at least. Even if he can't win it, he's got to get these frags coming. He's got two minutes, <laughs> six frags to tie the game up. And that would be that's a very tall order for Lost World against any high-skilled opponent, but... He is Cypher for a reason. He has the X Factor about yeah. about his game. So let's see what he's able to accomplish in the last 90 seconds as he hunts down. Oh, he the finds American. the hang. He should be pretty weak still, and that is going to be Cypher getting off of the negatives at the moment. But he's got to play this at 100 miles an hour if he wants to get anywhere close to these uh, five extra frags the hang has. And he heard the mega picked up by the hang there. Not quite catching him in time, and that's going to be a bunch of time killed. Yeah, he Cypher missed out on the Mega. He doesn't really know that... Uh, oh, he, I guess he didn't hear it. Looked yeah. Like he, yeah. Dahang ran off with it. So actually, if Cypher did chase up the bounce pad, that would have been a huge mistake for him. Oh, look at this. Dahang playing sneaky in the LG room. He's just going to turn it completely on his head. 6-0. GG called. Dahang wins against Cypher 2-1. What is the Hank doing today? I, d I don't know, but the Hank, I was worried for him at the start of Airwalk because, mm -hmm. you know, the start of the series between these two guys, because Cypher was playing so fast and he was playing insanely well, but then the Hank was matching him. He was matching his speed, he was matching yeah. his every, everything, every move. And what, convincing Tox, convincing Lost World and nearly winning on the Airwalk, I mean, what, what the hell? That's like... That's a recipe for glory here. It's, for it is amazing, moment. but it is to hang. Is he going to be able to carry this form through, through that's to the what, playoffs? That's, what, that's when that's people get... Uh, sometimes they lose a little bit of uh, yep. confidence in the hang, and there's, uh, there's a lot. The hang over the years building up more and more and more of a fan base yep. because they want to see him get that QuakeCon victory as he's been absolutely dying for it. He's only won one LAN event. Uh, I think it's an American IEM, and he really wants to, he really wants to QuakeCon victory. It's all about peaking at the right time. Mm -hmm. As a top level player, you go to these tournaments, you don't want to peak in the groups and then fall off towards, yeah, towards the end. That's not how disastrous. it works. And this is what a player like Cypher is amazing at. You get him in a tournament, it doesn't matter too much how his mm -hmm. form is early on, he gets through the games. It's the same with p people like Cooler and Sonos as well. They get to the grand finals and then boom, you see their best possible shape. And that's, that's one of the reasons why he's one of the best, yeah. if not arguably the best, after winning DreamHack.